We're learning more details about a San Francisco police officer who died by suicide earlier this week. KTV investigative reporter Evan Sarnofsky has been speaking to family and friends and has more on the officer, what he's been going through as well. Evan? That's right, Christina. This story has stunned many SFPD members who either knew Sergeant Chris Morris or know others who are facing their own struggles with the job. It's been a lot more traumatic than, than I thought it would be. Larry Shockey lives next door to the home where Sergeant Chris Morris died Wednesday from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He's been searching for answers about what happened while remembering his friend and neighbor. We talked across the fence a lot and he liked the occasional cigar and I, I do too, so we pass cigars back and forth across the fence. Going outside. Shockey has been taking care of Morris's golden retriever named Lucky as his neighbor's family deals with the loss of the 16-year SFPD veteran. But while Shockey remembers the good times, family and sources in the department describe the troubles Morris was facing, beginning with losing his twin brother 13 years ago. His father, Dennis, spoke to KTVU but didn't want to go on camera. He said his son was recently in a bitter divorce and lost all custody of his 10-year-old son. Morris had been on disability leave for over a year from his post here at Park Station due to a chronic back injury that required medication. He was pretty devastated. You know, he had his injury and couldn't, uh, couldn't go back. And police sources told KTVU that Morris was under criminal investigation by Internal Affairs and was recently on an involuntary psychiatric hold. He was required to surrender his firearms. Officers were serving a search warrant at his home and confiscating his guns when he turned one of the weapons on himself. Really shocked and, of course, saddened and felt horrible. Dan Snyder lives four doors down from the home where it all happened and described the chaotic scene that day. Everything was um, cordoned off and they had, you know, police tape everywhere. Now, Christina, yesterday we spoke to a city supervisor who said more needs to be done for the mental health of first responders like police officers. And we often hear about the resources they can offer to the community but too often the officers don't seek that help for themselves. Reporting live in the newsroom, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Evan, thank you. We want to mention that if you need help or know someone who does, there is help out there. You can call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline at the number here on your screen, 1-800-273-TALK.